what's poppin', y'all? It is Shmoney, and we're officially back with Parlor Talk, the conversation behind the chair. I wanted hair. to say hair. Is it hair? It is. See, I knew it. <laughs> I literally had that in my head the whole time while this music was running. I'm like, I'm not going to say hair. I'm not going to say hair. Conversation behind the hair. And the flip. Do uh, the flip. Oh, okay. Because you got your <laughs> freshly new curl. And I got new hair today. So, yeah, we're, let's, let's flip the hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is your girl, D Dominguez. You know my slogan. We're about to have an amazing episode. Is that always going to be? That's going to be that's, your slogan That's now? my slogan. Okay. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, <laughs> Inya Phoenix. <laughs> it's a Monday. Can you tell? Because we all have a glass. Cheers. We're getting through the week. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. And the week just yes. started. Cheers. That's cheers. how bad cheers, it was. There we go. Cheers. You got to look at somebody <laughs> in the eyes. Otherwise, you have seven years of bad Oh, life. really? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I can't oh, have oh, that. Oh. Like, <laughs> stare at me through my soul then because I cannot afford that. Just look a little, look a little longer, please. <laughs> We and have a note, I know, lovely right? guest with us. Hi, everybody. I'm Betty with SJC Technology. I own a local IT company here in uh, Southwest Florida. I love how she said a little. A little. A little. <laughs> IT. <laughs> so you're smart, smart. Because that's all I think about when people when say I IT. When I think of IT, I think smart. Well, smart, smart. My guys are smart. I know how to sell, but they know how to work. Got so you. it kind of works out pretty good there. So do you hack? Like, that's my biggest question for any IT. <laughs> <laughs> yes, y'all can wait, hack. Wait. Y'all so, can hack. Wait, did you guys know each other before? No. Okay. no. So she okay. is a big conspiracy <laughs> junkie oh. theory, yes, theory junkie. I am. And so obviously that will be the, <laughs> first, be the first question. That'll be the first question. That's a critical mind. Of course, you, you got to oh, know yeah. this is all out there. We actually do a lot of work with the dark web. So. Shut up. Oh, yes. oh, we're going to be best she friends. Like that's it. That's it. I'm trying to sell like an Orient or something. I need money. want to know. Like ASAP. I may know somebody. No. <laughs> you know, you know she, is, she is my favorite so far. <laughs> like, favorite, hands down. Wait, two minutes. I don't wait, care. Wait, she said on. dark no, web. She knows me the already. The question is, how do we get to the dark web? Yes. Oh, see, well, the dark web is actually run by a different type of uh, program, which is a, like a, a torrent program that you can go through. I don't recommend it for anybody mm -hmm. because that's oh, where man. all the super geeks hang out that also happen to be criminals. So, um... They have a <laughs> yes. They have a funny uh, way of uh, showing that they know who you are. Like mm. you could literally go on there and say, "Send me a pizza," and next thing you know, you'll have twenty pizzas show up at Shut your house, up. and they'll all be billed to your credit card. By the way, of course, <laughs> yeah. See, I need to learn stuff like this. Like it, it, it comes down to it. Yeah, I want to know. It's a scary, scary world out there. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things that we do for our clients. Like we we monitor the dark web for them. But we also become kind of like their IT geeks. So mm -hmm. we take care of everything IT for their business so they don't have to worry about it. That is so freaking dope. <laughs> do you oh do, um, like, are these individuals or are these companies? Who, who is your demographic um, um, clientele? Well, our, mostly our clients are anywhere from a, we're, we're not uh, specific to any type of industry. So I can have literally a realtor that works from home that we can service and, and help, you know, keep her computers up to date and everything. And then we also have other companies that have maybe anywhere between 60 to 100 users, you know, uh, companies that have their full um, employee staff, you know, mm -hmm. building stuff like that, that we can provide all the IT support for got them. Got you. Here, come here real quick. Oh, what we got? You got an eyelash now. Blow on it because it's good luck. Woo. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do so we get to cheers again? Yeah, yeah. let's cheers. Let's get my eyes. Don't forget to stare in the eyes. Don't forget to stare in the eyes. Look, any reason. Wait. Any reason. So, any. Where are you, Latina? What's, what's I am. I'm Cuban. See? See? Are you Cuban? I you know, am. Oh, shit, I would have never realized. My Us son's Latinos, half Cuban. We don't even need a reason to I drink. We just do. We just wake up and we're like, yeah. it's a good day. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Who's your biggest client? Can you... Um, Can you share that? sometimes I wouldn't really disclose it, but we do, I guess like our more sensitive clients would be our medical mm. because you would be surprised how many, um, records are always trying to get hacked. Mm -hmm. And once they have your medical records, they can pretty much know anything about you. Really? Yeah. So that's a big thing. Like they'll apply for everything underneath the sun, including, um, employment, uh, payroll, you know, like subsidies and wow. things like that. They'll apply for unemployment. They'll apply for all kinds of stuff if they've got your info. So it's it's pretty scary. But so, so real question: How the hell do I get into this stuff? <laughs> like, I want to be an like IT. Really like my mind is just wondering, serious. like going That's right it. now. We're gonna have you come over and intern That's with it. us. <laughs> I can sell. I swear, I can sell a rock on the street to somebody, anybody. 
Put me on your team. It's so yeah. fun. And it really is. Every day I always tell my guys, I'm like, no two days are alike. So even when I'm hiring somebody, I'm like, if you think that this is like the same repetition, forget about it. Because one minute you'll be in a doctor's office, next minute you'll be in an attorney's office, and next thing you know, you're on top of a train fixing somebody's Wi-Fi. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> See, maybe hair is not in my cars for the rest of my life. <laughs> change, change of careers. Yeah, change of careers. You know, once they say you're in a decade of your industry, I'm, I'm at that 10-year... Yeah, I'm at that 10-year <laughs> peak. Maybe it's time to, like, I don't. For me, dive. I, don't, I don't know so much about changing careers, but I recently started a new position, a different department Ooh, in nursing. what? So I'm going from mom baby to home health, Ooh. which is funny because we're always talking about leaving the nine to five, yeah. the, the boring, that they don't want to do that. And I'm the opposite. I'm looking for the nine to five. I switched over to the nine to five Did Monday you? through Friday, weekends and holidays off. So because, you can have that flexibility on your weekends. Yes. And so that I can have more of a normal sc- schedule. Mm-hmm. I'm still in the medical field, so I'm still using my, you know, RN but um, I'll be more chilled, more laid back. The hospital is very stressful. I hear that from mm-hmm. everybody. A lot of my clients, I range from babies all the way to almost like 80. Mm-hmm. And a lot of my nurses have, during COVID, they went into mm-hmm. travel nursing. Mm-hmm. And they're still working at hospitals, but only three-month terms. And they're getting paid triple mm-hmm. than the regular nurses are. That has gone down a lot. And See, and I've heard that. And I had one lady, her, well, she was my babysitter when I was small. Now her name, her name was Kayla, Quayla. Now it's Kayla. She changed it. She's working at Port Charlotte. And she said the same thing, but still, she still makes more than the regular nurses, yeah. mm-hmm. which is, um, it's crazy to me because the dedication they put in one, mm-hmm. one field that you're in or one hospital that you're in, you, yeah. you get to know people, you build bonds, you think loyalty yeah. will hit certain mm-hmm. people. But no, people are really just exploring now to be on their self, to be on their own. Yeah. And it's like a little job of entrepreneurship without even really being an entrepreneur yeah. in general. Yeah, because you're um, you're self contracted. Yeah, yeah. As far as your business, what are the requirements for somebody to work in your line of work? Um, well, IT is a never ending learning industry. So we are constantly training, constantly learning new products. Um, as an IT department. What we do for our clients is we basically dissect all the programs that are out there and then we try to find the best fit. You know, um, sometimes like what's the most popular may not be business appropriate and it may not work for you. So what we try to do is just kind of explore all those different avenues. Um, So there's always a lot of training. Definitely someone that has IT knowledge, um, super important. Um, We ask at least that they are very familiar with Microsoft, not just just using the program, but setting it up. Users, all the good stuff. (laughs) (laughs) The reason he's he's talking to me is because... I say that too, though. I am an Apple Mm -hmm. user. I have Apple everything. So whenever he tries to send me something... It's not, yeah, it's not, it doesn't work. (laughs) But I'll be real with you as much as I have Apple for everything in my salon from iPad to Square to my phone. I bought a MacBook thinking, you know what, let me just add on to it. And they they work it up to the end. Like, it'll hold your memories, good for pictures, Mm -hmm. good for documents. It is the most bullshit system (laughs) I've ever used. I sold my, well, I got it, somebody stole it out my car in Cape Coral. And then I bought another one and sold it again. And I sold, I think, for like $200. Like, get it out my way. And now I work with an HP. Yep. And it's the best thing that I've ever bought in my life. And it's touchscreen. <laughs> we are I'm Microsoft certified touchscreen. for sure. <laughs> so that I could, I would definitely, not because we're biased, but absolutely. We have clients that do that. They'll go out and buy a Mac because, you know, their friend said, hey, get a Mac. It's great. And then, like, all the programs that they want are not compatible with yeah. Mac. And that just becomes a nightmare for them. So usually I tell people before you even think about, just call me. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I won't even charge you for a conversation. Let's just have a conversation about what you're doing. And let's get you on the right thing so you don't go insane. Yeah. <laughs> and you can Especially actually work. with the prices of Mac. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. super expensive they're for super no reason. Expensive. And I'm over it. They're hustling the shit out of us. I'll yeah. Oh, it's it's more expensive to fix it than, than it to is buy to buy it. One. You might as well yes. throw it away and buy a whole new one. But see, I've, one. I've never had any issues with my Mac. I've... I've owned two in my 44 years of but life. That's because you're, yeah, that's because you're not using it for technical. Yes, I'm not advances. using it for like editing and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. which I wor- learned real quick because I bought it for, for editing, me. for pictures, yeah. for hair. 
and they only hold a certain amount, and then they get you. Oh, you got to pay nine ninety nine. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, take my soul with like, you. And That's then. a lot. <laughs> so what made you, your you, on you? What made you get into this? <laughs> like, did you start when you were young, or? Um, actually, my husband started uh, when he got out of the Navy. Um, he was a um, electronical engineer for helicopters. And oh, wow. shut up! I need to yeah. be my friends. <laughs> like, this is the coolest freaking client that we've had on this show so far. To me, so, that was kind of like his niche and. To um, coming into the real real world, I guess, and then seeing like, hey, you know, I can take the skills that I have from the military and apply them to to this. Just get some additional, you know, Training. education. And back mm-hmm. then, it was Edison, you know, mm-hmm. right here locally when he came back and um, just made a career out of it. And it was just one of those things that naturally happened. He's just. Uh, we're very, very different in personalities. I'm very outgoing, loud, you know, Cuban, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And he's very, like, atypical, plans everything. Like, I go on vacation, he's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know. I just show up. <laughs> Things oh, happen. That is so me. That is me. <laughs> and he's very, like, I have a schedule. Yeah. I'm like, yes. what is that? <laughs> I feel like it definitely has to do with probably being where yes. he is yes. based out of. Because they need yes. that. They need the morning, breakfast, lunch, when we're going to feed, yeah, when we're going to work out. Yeah, usually when you're in any, any, any ranks of the military or any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, whether it's the Army, the Navy, yeah. Yeah. Branches. branches of the military, usually very, that's... Your age. Oh, no, They're I'm, very. I'm like that too, though. <laughs> I am not. I'm, I'm, I'm but I'm so spontaneous. I'm sure. Me too. But I feel like that's <laughs> why it to, works. I have to have it though because I had a household of kids, you know, with my niece and my nephew and mom. So it's like, okay, plan out the day so it runs smoothly. Yes. See, yeah. I've never been that I, way, and my son can't stand like it because he's the opposite. Being ten years old, he likes a schedule. If I tell him one o'clock, Kids he is structure. calling me by twelve fifty, and I'm like, yeah. "Yo, son, I'm like fifteen minutes late. Like, just chill. <laughs> like, I'll be there. It's traffic." See, see, I think I have PTSD from being a Hispanic because <laughs> we don't be on time. <laughs> Nobody's ever been no. On time. If oh, I tell it, you oh I'm gonna be God. there in twenty minutes, that means I haven't left my house yet. I swear I'm about to yes. be out there. So I'll be there today, in thirty. And if I invite you to a party and I tell you it's at five. It's okay to show up at seven because I'm probably still wandering around. Yeah, that part, trying to exactly it out. that. I hate that. <laughs> yes, no. exactly. I ain't got time for that. I'm waiting no. for a fresh plate. I want to walk and feed. My mom's a real Puerto Rican. She'll come to parties, eat, and then leave. I'm like, mom, t- at least thirty minutes. Like, go, go network. And she don't host either because the moment she hosts, she'll tell everybody to be there at a certain time. Oh yeah. And if it's from seven to nine by eight thirty, she's in bed. That's the ticket. <laughs> Get out my house. Like, start wilding it up. And we're looking at her like, where's the host? She's There's got, no like, way. the decorations that go home by nine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she's like, just see yourself out. It's crazy. So my daughter lives with me right now, and she's making plans. She's trying, pobrecita. She wants to be, you know, she's trying to be more sociable, right? She had both her two younger kids. She had them th- through COVID, right? So they're two and six months, and the oldest one is four. So during COVID, they didn't go out. She still orders her her groceries and does pick up and all that. And her kids are not in school, and she's a stay at home mom. So she's trying to Get interact with house. other other women that have kids. Mm-hmm. But she, with this heat, nobody's trying to go outside. Right? So <laughs> hell no, it's disrespectful. So she invited <laughs> two of her friends that have kids over to the house. So she was like, "Mom, is it okay if I have so and so over on Wednesday?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, no problem." And then she's like, okay, so it's only going to be from 11 to 2. And I said, but they're kids. Like, she's like, no, no, they'll be done out by 2. And I said, are you, how are you going to, you going to kick your guest out? She's like, no, the kids need to be in bed taking a nap at 2.30. <laughs> and I was like, wow. so yeah, somebody listened to me when I was raising them. Because <laughs> that's, I how, I, that's how I was. Like, I like structure. Now, that does not mean that if... That I can't be spontaneous. I can. Yeah. I want. I want a schedule. Yeah. But if yes. something happens, I'm not gonna go ballistic if we're not on time. You yeah. know, I can roll with the punches. But as long as I know that there is something planned, I'm okay. See, the only thing scheduled in my life is this damn hair life right here. <laughs> that is the only thing. And that's because of square. Thank God, a square. If you're not, if you're a small business owner, it is, works miracles. But it's a time frame and it plans out. Other than that. No, can't do it. It's just nothing works out for me when it's planned. Mm-hmm. And when it is planned, I get depressed real quick if something doesn't work That's out. That's the score so, you. Yeah, so husband. I'm like, mm, nah, I'm good. And 
I don't know. Even I've tried it. I have calendar books. I have notebooks back there that I write stuff on. And then I go to the store and I don't have none of those books with me. So I got to work <laughs> off my mind anyways. <laughs> so it just never works with uh, me. I use my phone. Hold on. You do have an iPhone that has a calendar? I don't use it either. I use that, Square. I tell that, you. Calendar, Square is the only thing. On, on your lock wow. screen. Wow. It shows no, your lock No, it's screen. just my TikTok. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> in my son's picture. I've tried. I'd be like, hey Siri, put this in my notes. Da 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 da. And then I'll never look at my notes again. I got notes from like 2017 in my phone. That's it's crazy. so bad. But I'm a very I work very good under pressure too. I'm yeah. one of those people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm amazing yeah. under pressure. It's how I do my hair shows, how I do hair, how I talk to people. Usually people artistic like people that, we, that yes. are artists. We work with the left side of the yes. brain, they say. Mm -hmm. So we the tend other to be a little bit more yeah, uh, out, of out of the box. <laughs> See, my boyfriend keeps me in check. That's why I said your husband keeps you. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. two are balance. good balance. You and balance. your husband are good balance. I always my have the joke the that way. I'm like, you're like the grown up in this relationship. So thank you That's, for not letting me. That is so my thing. boyfriend. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you though, because I'm the grown up in my relationship. <laughs> And I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of being the grown up. And lately is being more difficult mm -hmm. because it's like for many, many years is like, okay, so every time we go out, I have to be responsible. And now I don't want to be responsible anymore. Like I'm done. Like I, I told him the other, the other day, he, he spent all day on the boat with his friend. I had to work. And then he comes home and he showers and he's like, there's a party in Tampa tonight. Want to go? Oh, sounds like me. <laughs> I'll jump on a road it's quick. It's 7 o'clock at night. Yes. The party starts at 11. Perfect. He's been out on the so boat. You, you think it's too much. <laughs> no, no, no. You're thinking no, way too like, much. No, that part. Wait, 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 wait. He's been on the boat all day, uh -huh. on the sun, drinking. That right. means he is ready to go. So that means, no, that this means is what this games. means. Let me tell you what this means. Let, no. I will have to drive there so I and drive sleep. back oh. while he sleeps. Well, yeah, no. Then yes. you make him sleep, take a cat nap. So when you're driving back, you're the one getting drunk, and he's the sober one driving back. It's while, balanced, y'all. It's we, balanced. While we're at the party, he's not going to be not drinking. He better drink some ginger ale and water for the last hour, because that's what I do. I sober up real quick. The last hour yeah. and a half, two hours. Hours, I start drinking water and my boyfriend and I, we balance. We don't even talk. It's so weird. We stare at each other. If he sees me calling out my fifth Patron Lemonade, he already knows. <laughs> Let me get a beer. Let me get a water. Yeah. And then if I see him grab a crown or a Hennessy, I'm like, oh, it's all night flight. All right. Let me get water. <laughs> Somebody has to balance out the night and yes. we always do that. But, but see, that's no, the thing. I've been the adult our, our 29 years of life of together. And now I feel like it's my turn. When we go out, I shouldn't. Ha I should be the one drinking. I should be the one relaxing and you know being. But it gets tiring being the adult and the responsible all the time. We all don't I always want to be responsible. Is I'm grateful for Uber because yes, <laughs> that part. That, yes, that part. I'm like. You don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it because then I start stressing. Mm -hmm. Like, how much did you have today? How much mm -hmm. did you drink? How much? You know, and I'm like, I don't want to think about that anymore. So I'm like, where are we going? Oh, let's Uber. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's why we so party downtown it. because if we get too lit, we both look at each other and be like, mm, the salon sounds really good today. And we have <laughs> two couches. So one's in the front, and one's in the back. And we pass out. We have alarms at 430 in the morning. I'm like, we got to be out by eight. We got to be out by eight before stylists start coming in. <laughs> we just pack up and it makes us feel like teenagers again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's adventurous. <laughs> yeah. It makes it adventurous. It's dope. But not everybody can grow up. I know y'all have been seeing this all over Facebook and Instagram, TikTok. You heard about that girl that just lied about getting kidnapped? Yes. Yep. Let's talk about growing up like that. Like, no, hold up. Wait. Wait, what? Let, let's, <laughs> let's clarify. Huh? She's an African-American female. And a nurse. And a nurse. So and she's very... Nurse educated who lied you ever heard about this story i have not where have Stop i been it. you're under a rock it's everywhere right now <laughs> everywhere. it's everywhere even the I've poor been watching boyfriend cat videos i guess i don't know what's going on <laughs> so, <laughs> so she that's, that's a it business coming see ya. <laughs> so she um faked her own kidnapping oh yes just to get attention from her boyfriend oh. not from just anybody just her boyfriend mm -hmm. and saying that the kidnappers Left her money in her sock. In her sock, <laughs> gave her hand her, her money. Her money? Yeah. That's some real nice kidnappers. Took pictures of her. Didn't she say that some that somebody licked her? So Hold on, let's back up. Let's back up. Yeah. She was she was on the highway and she saw a toddler walking. She said. On, she's seen. Yeah, she seen, said she's seen a toddler walking. So she got out the car mm -hmm. and tried to help this toddler. Called nine one one. Made a whole 
report then called her family member. And on the phone on her family, she's screaming at the top of her lungs like she just got kidnapped, left her phone, left everything in the car, and literally walked across and went into like a, t- a tunnel. There is like a thing on the side of the, the highway and it's a tunnel and it's a, a pavement and she walked through. She even climbed a fence, which was true because it was a six foot fence. Yep. With and this one, heat wave? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It, wait. <laughs> like, no. This is what I... Go ahead, finish because oh, I have, a, but I, I have an she, IT question. And then she jumped, she jumped the fence supposedly, got away and she went to a hotel, mm-hmm. stayed at the hotel for a night and ordered a whole bunch of snacks had money in her sock and went to her parents' house afterwards. Her brother went live on TikTok begging to help her sister find her sister. The whole family was in shock. And this was all to get attention from the boyfriend. And baby, you gave your boyfriend attention because he got like 12,000 followers now on Facebook. Like, no, 12 million oh my on Facebook. And you know, every girl is throwing a shot. And he is not ugly. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. handsome. Went to college too and everything. She went to college. It yeah. backfired bad. Time. Now they want to put her in a psych ward. She doesn't want to go. She's denying it. But baby, that's the only thing that's going to help you. Act wow. crazy. You already crazy for doing it. Act she, crazy. And let alone she came back naked. With only socks. With, with a only of money socks and money that the kidnappers gave her. Like she really this thought this through. This is blowing my mind because like this story is just like. Yo, I'm wow. telling you. And to think that people are grown up, raised differently. And now let's go back to the conversation that people don't want to have. Hold on, before you have asked that question. Mm-hmm. So the reason, once the investigation went through, they found search of different, how oh, to yes. fake Searches. a kidnap, oh. how to, yes. like certain research on oh, her yeah. phone. Like a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how far back and how realistic how is do we it hype that, you, <laughs> that if you <laughs> How do you delete the, my search memory? <laughs> if something so happens to me. So, <laughs> so do we ever, is there ever anything ever that cannot be traced? Everything's a slippery slope when it comes to that. I mean, when you're looking up things, not only are you looking on your phone, but you're also going on people's pages. You're going on certain sites. You're going on certain things. Who, who runs that site? Mm. Like, government. if I say, well, let me show you how to kill people with whatever, mm-hmm. like, who do you think runs that site? Like, you know, uh, you got to think about this, where you're getting the information from. So now you're going and you're registering, <laughs> like, you're pinging in these, in these different groups mm. and different pages and stuff like that. And that's why, literally, why the dark web was created, was to, to be able to not backtrack Be able things. to, exactly. Because everything on the internet, it's like, you got to look at it like a giant, um, just like, like a giant... Um, iceberg, right? Mm-hmm. You just see the top. That's what we're allowed to see. Mm-hmm. And then underneath that, there's a whole bunch of different levels that go into government, that go into medical, that go into where your student loans are. That go. I mean, there's a lot of stuff so, in there that we can't see. And then dark web is kind of lurking at the bottom. And no matter so, what, everybody so has question. an IP. It's almost like a social. So if what if you have it's a, a thumbprint? A, what, yeah. Is it a VPN? Mm-hmm. So is that can that still be like if you're using a VPN, can you still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's if they want to know stuff and the way that the, the, the government looks at things and the, the, the capabilities that they have, I don't think that they're always completely honest as to what they know. <laughs> so I think that there's more to meets the eye than what we are even understanding there. Because there's things that they get people on and you would say, wow, they've had to dig deep. But yeah. it's like, that's what they do. <laughs> you know, so they get paid good money to so do that So the moral stuff. of the story is... Mm-hmm. Just be smart about what the fuck you're going to do because, yep. like, if and you're trying to kill somebody, <laughs> why would you like- search <laughs> on how to kill somebody? Like, that makes no sense. Are you writing a paper, writing a movie? You can't put asking for a friend at the end of it either. <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's the point now, but this whole social media, this generation, they're just, they're almost like crash dummies constantly. And I say this to my stepdaughter, to my son. Y'all want to videotape everything. You want to put everything on social media. It took a long time to realize what my ex-fiance was telling me with that. Because I am a social media person with hair, anything, for any hosting. 
And not everybody needs to know everything that you're doing, every step. Nobody needs to know what's in your livelihood, your kids sometimes, because you don't know who's on social media. My favorite is when they're telling everybody, I'm going on vacation That tomorrow. part. Like, rob me, please. <laughs> like, rob me. I tell my brother that. I'm like, why yeah. are you putting you're that like, you're profile. going to Vegas oh, or you're Cape going to Canada Cora. or whatever? Yeah, they check into this restaurant, location. that restaurant, and that restaurant. Yeah. They live yeah. in this area. Honestly, right that is me now. And it's... <laughs> I, I, I never used to worry about my location. I don't have a location on my phone. at all. Well, yeah. the Yes. 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 Yeah, but I usually so I take pictures, I do tagging, but I don't upload it till I'm not there anymore. Right. Yeah. That's what I Because do. look how many like artists mm-hmm. have got murdered yes. for that reason. Mm-hmm. There was Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. The Smoke. other one was that a PB, I always call him PB and J. <laughs> <laughs> PB and J, his own wife, his own baby mother got him caught up from taking mm-hmm. a picture and tagging the location. Yep. yep. It's like you don't do that. And not everybody needs to know every part Everything. of your life. It really doesn't. Mm-hmm. And it's gotten to the point that I haven't learned a good medium because it was either I'm on social media full thrown or I backed up so much from social media that I'm enjoying being busy, I'm enjoying my life, I'm enjoying the moments. The Instead moment. of taking pictures, I'm picture memory now. I even have people popping up on me like, are you alive? I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm <laughs> I, I am very big of taking the pictures. I just yes. don't upload them to social media. Like, so I, w- I took, my husband and I took our grandkids to a baseball game in Tampa and I took tons of pictures. I didn't, I then to, my daughter asked me to, she's like, hey, did you take any pictures? Because her son was there too. I was like, oh yeah, I took, and then I looked at my phone. I was like, I took like 50 pictures that day, but I didn't upload any of them. So for me, I thankfully do have have found that happy balance um my daughter doesn't want me uploading pictures of her kids she just sent me a video a very eye-opening video um it was a um generated um like an ai person Mm -hmm. and it was like the little girl but she was grown up and then she was telling her parents all the things that happened to her because of the pictures that they just shared mm-hmm. on family trips. Yep. So people can look up her socials. Like, and, that, and even before social media, even before all this technology, like your social security number could be used for so many things. I remember. It's even to open an EIN. Yes. Mm-hmm. LLC. Like I people remember don't realize that. when I went to get my first cell phone in the 90s, I couldn't get a cell phone because that's when I found out that my mom used my my social security number for Ugh. a light bill. Oh no, I'm so happy my mom never done and that. I, I hear stories to, like that and all I, the time. And I had to fight that so hard. And I, and I said, can you please look at the year? Oh yeah, 1980. I was like, I was nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can and, I have a light bill at nine? Well, we go by social security numbers. We don't go by birthdays and i'm like yep and a I, lot of people do mm-hmm. it shit my dad was selling pictures of me in prison for honey buns mm. wow. and it's crazy how the world works wait, as you think wait, no wait, i swear what? to god my wait dad's still in prison he's doing 15 years he gets out in probably another year and a half wait, two years why was he selling pictures of you because he wanted commissary wanted food. and my mom's a single mom and he she's hustling out here and before before my mom my dad asks my mom for money when she's taking care of two kids his stupid ass thought it was smart. Well, wow. let me just sell my daughter's pictures because well, she's cute. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's that just shows you the lack of. It's just education and education. And, yeah, the lack of. It's like, reckless. It's yeah. very reckless without reckless. noticing it. And you know how bad it got that I actually dated the guy he sold my picture to without knowing. What? Wow. That's insane, right? And I was absolutely You're in stalker. love with this guy. And. <laughs> The crazy part is, wow. I met him here at the CBD shop. I already had owned the salon. This happened in 2014, 15, right after I had my son. So honestly, I never changed my face. I look like I look still the same person. I've <laughs> lost weight and changed hairstyles and stuff. But no, I went. I remember coming out next door and looking at my homeboy Jason Benji that was on here, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Yo, come have a drink with me. I'm going to Puerto Rico on vacation." Da da da. And there was this black dude there, and he would never been my type. But there was something about him that intrigued me about him because he wasn't talking. I didn't even know he was in jail. That's the crazy part. I didn't even know he was in jail. And I look at him and and he was like, well, why don't you take him? 
He's chilling. He just got off work. And I'm like, yeah, come have a drink. He's like, no, nah, I'm going home. I said, you smell like Hennessy. Ooh. Come have a drink with me. You smell like it already. We chilled and talked at Backstreet's, I swear, from probably about 7 o'clock to about 2 in the morning. Never did he tell me he knew my father. Never. We, he tells me, nonchalant, liquor hits. Oh, I'm leaving Puerto Rico tomorrow. I need a suitcase. I ain't got one. He's like, come back to my house. I got one. I went back to his house. You're crazy. I am 20 something years old. I should know better at this yeah, point. There's like a whole shrine of her yeah. pictures all over the house. Like, one thing after another. <laughs> you walk in, you're like, man, your sister was a lot like me. <laughs> and he straight up told me that day. It was like he was so comfortable. Like to me, he was comfortable. Yeah. He it was something about his soul that I Girl, felt like I he met already him knew before. You. He already knew me. <laughs> he knew you. He already knew me. And come to find out, he looks at me in his house and tells me, Yo, Keisha, I gotta tell you something. I said, What's up? He's like, I was in prison with your dad for two years. We were bunkies. And I was like, <gasps> Oh, you let me talk to you for five hours? And, and you, you were in prison with my father? You know who I am? Yeah, you know the funny part is your dad sent me a picture of you for a honey bun one day. And I was like, shut oh, the... F a honey bun? I'm not <laughs> worth more than a honey bun? Not even <laughs> some soup cans or it's something? Some, Did some it at least have frosting noodles? on it? That is something. <laughs> some ramen noodles or something? And like you know how like... <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. I ended up... To me, he was like... I think that's what clinged us together. Nobody knows my father for so many years. And... That wasn't even social media. That was a picture. Yeah. And I fell in love with this guy. He reminded me of my father a that, lot. He that's came what out. I said. He that's owned, yeah. Because he spent all that time. He spent with all him. that time with him. He knew of me. Mm -hmm. he, well, you start picking up people's personality. Like, have exactly. you noticed when you have like a friend or something, you end up saying things that you they normally would like say. Start talking like them, acting like them. Sometimes. Start liking the same kind of stuff sometimes, yes. and you're like, wow. Ever since this person came into my life, like I've I've grown, and you're yeah. like, no, I just kind of started taking do whatever yeah, she's doing. Yeah, little notes on other people. <laughs> yeah. But that just shows like even. Even with social media being here, yeah. like back then it was still a mixture of pictures yes. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But social media, you have you will never hide nothing no more. No. There's yeah. no hiding. There's pictures. The the cloud, I don't even know what the fuck the cloud is. Oh yeah. The cloud so just takes is, stuff let, and let, disappears let's ask, and you'll never let's see ask it again. Our IT expert. What is wow. the cloud? What is the cloud? The cloud is actually not a real place, but uh it basically stores all your information. A lot of people they don't realize this. If they have certain settings on their phones or their computers, they can actually upload all kinds of stuff, even if you del like delete it off your computer or delete it on your phone, and someone has access to your iCloud, and you got some pictures in there you may not want to share, they're going to be able to view them. So that's yeah. all. You have to almost think about it like, who could be watching me right now whenever you want to do something like that? Um, I do have some tips that'll work for yes, like please, Facebook yes, and please. stuff like that. Um, one of the things that you could always do is... Make your, because um, you see all these people that say, oh, I just got hacked. Wait, you didn't me, get hacked. Let me they go just, to my settings. They just basically went through <laughs> and copied like, all your pictures right and created a fake profile saying it's you. Hey, look at my backup account, which is mm -hmm. Um So what I always suggest to people is make sure that your, pri that your friends list is private or that only your friends can see it. Meaning you don't need to tell everybody that you know 5,000 people, but... The best thing to do is, oh, say that you have, you know, this amount of following or you have this amount of people that are on your page, but they cannot see them. So that means if I created a fake profile with your picture on they it, can't I can't go through your friends people. list and be like, hey, girl, yes. I, I broke down. Do you mind Venmoing me 10 bucks? Because mm -hmm. that's what happens, right? Um, so that's always a great suggestion. Just keep your stuff private when it comes to that. I love what you do because I do exactly the same thing. Anytime I go on vacation, you don't find out about it till about a week and a half yep. later. That's when I actually upload anything that I am okay with sharing. Mm -hmm. um, and then on your profile, there's also two different settings. You could set it to just your friends to view, or actually there's three. Your friends to view, you could do public, which is great for like, you know, commercial stuff, yeah, your business. business. Always do that public because it's easy to share. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a restricted list. And you can actually make a, you know, just a group of people that you allow or don't allow to see certain, certain things, things on your page. So if it's really like a family page, a lot of times they tell people, you know what, Facebook, Facebook is free. Have more than one account. Have one that's just for you and your family and the people that you deem the closest to you so that nothing slips out if you have a public persona. So those are little things that you could do that'll kind of keep you safe in that in that realm. Um, but anytime that anybody sees like an account that's not even real or it's fake, just report it right away. The more people that report it, 
The more it comes out. The sooner it They damn out. sure made me a fake profile and put me like if I was on OnlyFans. <laughs> whoever made it was making bank because there was a lot of people subscribing onto it. And I was wow. like, yo. Like, and there were just pictures of me <laughs> in my bathing suit. You slept if, on that. If I knew that I can sell pictures in a bathing suit that I'm just taking random and putting on Instagram, I would have sold my pictures. Listen, I would have sold there, there, There's OnlyFans for yeah. Feet, yeah. Feet people making fetish, tons of money. Fetish. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, I have a question I think everybody <laughs> at one point thinks about and they hear about. Now, our cameras, because you are a T person, mm -hmm. we have our iPhones and what my father tells me from prison. Mm -hmm. He's like, when you fall asleep, you put your camera down, mm -hmm. face down, because people that can hack your stuff will go through your front camera and they can see you. Mm -hmm. And actually that the phone takes little pictures about every five to ten seconds without you knowing when you're viewing certain things. Is there, that true? There's a lot of things that happen on your phone that a lot of us aren't prone to because we just say yes to everything. Um, has anybody ever read like the whole Microsoft like Hell this no. is all I blah, just blah, 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 about fifteen thousand? You're just like check yes. I just want to go on Facebook, right? So that happens a lot. There's a lot of things that we're saying yes to, um, and we're not even realizing it. So sometimes they'll say, "Hey, you gotta you gotta allow us to do this with your photos or your history in order for you to gain access to this website mm -hmm. or." or the shopping app, or whatever it is. Um, and that actually sets up your phone to do different things. Um, so you can actually have, like, tracking. You can have, you know, they know, like, when people say, I was just thinking about this, or I just said something, said and it, it popped it up pops all up. over my yep. Oh, all the time. There's a reason for that, because that microphone is open. And so mm. it does do that. Even if you have Alexa at home, um, it's mm. it literally will track a lot of your conversations and things. And then you'll start getting suggestions on things that might interest you. So yeah, it's all it's all there. Wait, yeah. So yeah, you can. <laughs> also, but at the same time, there's don't been... go around your house talking about you gonna be planning on killing someone because Alexa is that listening. part and listening. <laughs> but there's been kids like that went that had people talking to them through yes. Alexa mm -hmm. and watching them videos, mm -hmm. and then the parents aren't and the there. Ring camera. Yes, and, baby, yeah, and the, the ring cameras. camera. So mm -hmm. it's like, yes, technology has gotten to a peak that it's it's a beautiful thing to see the way the world Absolutely. develops. Absolutely. But it's scary as hell because yep. you really don't know enough unless you are... I need to be on your team. <laughs> I need to know these things. I need She's to like, know. I'm going to be terrified by the end of the week, but it's okay. It's okay. I need to know. I need the to know. The stuff that I watch terrifies me enough, and I can't even sleep at night half of the time with the conspiracy I just, shit. I, I'll be honest with you. I know this is like non-realistic but i really wish we can go back in time i do too i really wish we can go back to the 80s and early 90s where kids were able to play outside and be kids and be kids yep. i wish we could go back in time to the place where people would call each other hey how you doing instead of What's a quick up? text mm -hmm. yeah the I one thing that. i don't like about phones now and i've said this plenty of times in the last year and I think I'm people are looking at me different for it and I really don't care anymore is that it's too open to think that if I call you at that second you have to pick up yes. yeah. or if I text you you have to answer if I'm on Facebook and they see a little green dot which I took my active off mm -hmm. I learned that shit but <laughs> they see you on it there's days that you work on social media so much as a business owner mm -hmm. and you're editing you're doing all this stuff and posting because it's business mm -hmm. that I want to go on and just scroll and be a normal person mm -hmm. and yeah. you can't do that because the moment they see it they write you and if you don't write back to catch your attitude I've had mm -hmm. people cuss me out for seeing really? me on Facebook. Like, oh, you didn't my mom, see my, my message? mom does that all da, 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 da. the time. My mom does it too. She's like, I called you three times. But what if we were back in 2005 and I only mm -hmm. had a house phone and I didn't make it yep. home till 8, 9 o'clock? Yep. You couldn't get a hold of me. And if my voicemails were full, you damn sure can't leave anything. Yep. It's so hard to retrain people because I'm starting to do that now. Like, if I'm if I'm out and I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the moment yes. right now. Mm -hmm. I've had, you know, I don't know what it is, but lately there's been people having a lot of medical issues. People have been, you know, friends that, you know, spouses have passed away. And I'm thinking, what are we doing? Like, why are we so like this yep. instead of just living At that right moment. now? Yes. So I've made it a point that if I, you know, if I'm out with my friends or we're hanging out or whatever, I... I don't even know where my phone is. I throw it at the bottom of the bag. I really don't care yes. at that point because I figured I'm like, okay, I'm with my son. Mm -hmm. I know my husband's here and I'm with my friends. So, mm -hmm. you know, anything that's going to happen now, it is, it's not a diary emergency. It's going to yep. be okay. That's how I feel too. I've, it's gotten I, to the point I've I don't even kept, touch it. I've kept my phone on Do Not Disturb for a whole day. The people that can reach me are the people that are on my uh, emergency contact, which is my kids, my mom, my sister-in-laws, my mother-in-law, my husband. Mm -hmm. And that's it. If it's an if if it's an I do have a setup that if somebody calls two times in a row, then it'll then ring you get a notification. as an um, emergency. As an emergency, 
But they, <laughs> yeah, because my son is that person. He'll call you three or four times because he knows the first two you're not gonna pick up. And my brother's like, Ivan, I'm busy. Well, I know if you don't pick up the second time, you'll still pick up the third time. And we're like, well, damn. And it's just a stupid question. Yeah. Like, yeah. can you can I use your card on PlayStation? Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> even like with the last trip, I just went with my boyfriend. I went to Georgia. I was mad at myself because I didn't take a lot of pictures. But at the same time, I lived in the moment. I got to enjoy it at that time. I didn't have mm -hmm. to carry something extra on me. Like, technology is, like, it's a hit and miss I, yeah. at this it's point. It's a 50-50 because sometimes, I got to admit, I do love opening Facebook. And then it tells me, like, my memories from, yes. like, two years yeah. ago. Yeah. And you're like, my favorite oh, part of Facebook. I love that. that oh, is my, my God, favorite. look at how little my son was. Yes. yes. You know, I, just, I love that. I just had a picture pop up of um, my son and my niece when we went to a mission trip to Nicaragua. My son was 11. My niece was 12. And they were so cute. And we were on a mission trip. And I sent them the picture. And stuff like that you can't take back. Because you don't remember about yeah. everything, every right. little detail all the time. But when you look at a picture. It, like, sparks up that moment. Yeah. It's yes. almost you like you can relive, relive it. that yes. moment. That's why I love it. Snap. Snap memories are the best. The camera <laughs> system is the best. I keep forgetting I have Snapchat. I love Snap. I, oh, I, I love Snapchat. And I'm I very used to love Snapchat when it was, like, the hype. Mm -hmm. But then I... I forget that it's there. See, and I use Snap more than I do my Facebook or Instagram because I've learned really? that my Facebook has like 5,000 friends. Half of them I don't know because they're clients. My Instagram is business. TikTok has became business, which mm -hmm. was my getaway. Mm -hmm. So my Snap is my personal. I am very limited on friends. And if I see somebody oh, I feel special on a story, I'm telling you, I have certain that. people and there's some people that I'll look on stories, I get bored, pop, pop, I don't know you, delete. <laughs> and I have even my staff sometimes that tries to add me. No, that's like mm -mm, my personal, private. personal. You'll probably see me smoking a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't my add anybody from work to my... And, yeah, no. no. Well, to my Facebook, I don't add any co-workers it's a big no to me in any business i think you yeah. have to learn how to keep the se separation because if you don't then they know I'm, too much i have certain ones and then the rest is like as soon as i get your number you get blocked on every <laughs> single thing should no. i block half of the people Managers, when they put too much business on facebook directors. or instagram or snap i've never blocked I don't think I've ever blocked Oh, baby, anybody. my block list is like a half a mile around the Cape Coral Parkway. <laughs> I, I block people. If I see, if I wake up in the morning and it's nothing but negative every time, or you're talking about your baby daddy and this and that, or the girls that are bullying you, baby, you're 35. We should not be having these conversations anymore. Block. It messes up my meditation in the morning. Block. <laughs> you're ruining my day. Yeah, I'm block. Done with this. <laughs> should I block my mom a couple times? <laughs> my mom is blocked on Snapchat. She can't see nothing. Block because she knows he. Keisha, where are you drinking at? None of your business. I'm trying to get late and I can't worry about you right now. Block. Like everything. Yeah, I can't live my best life. I want to twerk a little bit. I got my mama looking at me twerking. Like, no, block. My sis, block. Yeah, I, told, I told my mom when we did the, the episode with Lisa the and Vibe. Oh. I said, um, only watch the first 25 minutes because <laughs> we went into another segment. And this is stuff that you have not heard before. <laughs> Telling you, I've, I've ruffled some feathers with the podcast. Really? I actually had somebody come up to me <laughs> and talk about one of the stuff, something that I said on here. Ooh, what and was it? Yes, we want to know. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she might not watch the podcast no more after this, but it was actually the podcast of our of children of talking about like certain things that I wouldn't allow and certain things that I wouldn't. I'm like I said, I'm very open about having a blended family now. So I actually had a family member from my boyfriend's side pulled me aside in a family gathering and was talking about the podcast they saw. And they were like, well, you know what? You have to be very specific on what you say because if I was, you were my stepmother and I saw what you posted talking about that, if she would have got done that and she would have been your blood daughter, you would have slapped her. I said, well, that is the way I feel. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. I raise very differently. There are certain things I wouldn't allow for my child to do and certain things other people do. And I'm okay with everybody raising their things differently, but this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. Now, am I going to go slap her? Am I going to talk to her or down her or anything? No, I'm not here for that. I'm, a, I'm here to motivate, to build you, to tell you what's right and what's wrong and stuff that I wouldn't allow. And I'm very open about God the one do that. I'll be damned if I will let somebody do it to me. But it was, it ruffled a little feathers. Like to them, she felt like I came out a little too harsh. And that if my stepdaughter would have saw this podcast, that she would have felt some type of way towards me. And I told him, like, I'm sorry you feel that way, but that's not how I meant. 
And if they have but, a question, and, and, I think at, I will talk at, to her on the, the side about some things like day, that. Too, who is she to judge or who is she to say something? Because that is, yes, she is the extended family of your stepdaughter, but you you're the one who's dealing with her mostly. Which I understand, which I took her opinion in because mm -hmm. she, she, the mom is not there. Mm -hmm. She is there more. She's like the aunt or the cousin. So she has raised my stepdaughter a little bit more than her own mom does. So she sees the side of her I don't. She saw the baby side. Mm -hmm. She's now, but it's exactly what you said. I'm seeing the moment, mm -hmm. what's happening every am, single I'm day. I'm here now. Yeah, I'm here now. So there's certain things that I would not allow. So there are going to be some things that we say on the podcast that might ruffle some feathers. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we are raw on this podcast mm -hmm. for a reason. I We're here to see told... different aspects of everything. Mm -hmm. So... Every, everything about this podcast ruffles everybody's feather on my side because... <laughs> it's I'm, like, I'll never win. <laughs> no, the thing is that I don't understand why people don't realize. So in order for you to grow, there has to be change. Yes. Right? And I was a stay-at-home stay home mom with a part-time job my entire life. I was a teen mom. I had my first child at 15, my second at 17, and then my last baby at 24. But for me, family was very important and I didn't want my kids to be, I was told that I would never amount to anything and that because I was a teen mom, I was going to fail basically. So because of that, I wanted to make sure that my kids were productive Good. citizens of society. And I felt that the only way I had any control of that is if I stayed at home and raised them myself. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was my role for 20 plus years, right? I turned 40, I graduated as a nurse, and my kids are grown. I have a little more time now, you know, and I'm like, ooh, I can do this now. I can do this. I can do. You can do stuff that you could That back then. I would have done when I was in my 20s if I had not had a family. Right. I would have definitely been doing something like this. I know podcasts is a, you know, sort of new thing, but I, this is something that I love. I have a nonprofit organization that mentors teen parents. That's something that I've always wanted to do. I wanted to be the person that I needed when I was a teen mom. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm venturing into different aspects of nursing. I'm trying to see exactly where I, what, what my niche is and where I want to be at financially and, you know, um, career wise. So because I'm not available to certain family members, then issue, no? I'm being selfish. You know, I'm not, I, I, I've changed and people need to understand, yes, I have changed, but now I'm doing things that make me happy. Now I'm doing things that are for me. And as a woman, I think other women shouldn't be judging other women. We shouldn't. That's, we should be uplifting each other. We should be very, encouraging each other. Very profound what you're saying, because it, uh, we actually had this conversation a few friends of mine um, just recently, and it, I, you know, we were talking about the the reasons why people change. I said there's four reasons why people change. Uh, the first reason is circumstance. Yeah. And circumstances make you change. Bad circumstances, good circumstances, mm -hmm. whatever the circumstances, it makes you change. Yep. Because you have to adapt to your environment, right? Um, the next one is education. Mm -hmm. yeah. Education inspires you to change. It yep. teaches you something now you want to change. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is receiving. When you receive people around you that support you and they give you, and or maybe you came into a great a business venture that now you've maybe elevated your financial situation that now you're able to change yep. because you've created that environment. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's just, it's, it's those things that spark, you know, change in people. So you have to be, you have to adapt mm -hmm. because that is part of growth. And there's nothing in your history that says this was completely wrong and therefore you should fail for the rest of your life. There's exactly. nowhere where that's written. Absolutely. I saw a thing on TikTok that I thought it was a beautiful thing. Ooh. Ooh. I got profound. I, I was like, ooh. It's stormy. My face said it all. That's what happens when you miss an episode. <laughs> I was like, ooh. We but have I was added. What is this? A new segment. Shut up. I miss like Wait, one I'm episode. Gonna, oh, okay. you miss Technically, like, you missed I'm going to have to take a drink because there's a lot of flashing lights and I'm getting a little scared. So, <laughs> welcome to our new episode, Spicy Talk. Mm. Ooh. So, Spicy Talk is three, as long as you feel comfortable. 
we we don't make you do anything you don't want to do. Oh, if we you, also answer these. With well, we answer, answer the oh, questions okay. too. All right. So we ask three sex slash relationship questions. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> and everybody has to answer. Okay. But let me, I I I slacked and I didn't grab the questions. Let me go Ooh. grab them. <laughs> Isaac, can I get a repo? <laughs> right behind you. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> that's what you were looking for? <laughs> Let me get some more. We've got to fuel up for this, I think. I feel like we have to fuel up. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, you can, you can, you can, you can <laughs> pour it to the tip top. I absolutely love yeah. their salon. Like, everything is so zen, and I just I, love I'm that. Good. You I'm need. good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cut, we can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, judging, but not judging. It's Ooh, okay. <laughs> these are the cards we're supposed to do last, right? Okay, pull them out. Let's do this. All right, but the guest answers first. Okay. <clears throat> Sexually, do you have any hard no's? If so, what are they? Oh, I already know Ooh. one. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Any hard nose? Well, um, honestly, I don't think I do because I think like once you're with someone that you trust, you're okay with a lot of things. Okay, <laughs> you know. So Good I think I think that trust. Number one, if I didn't trust you, then yeah, we would have a laundry list. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Me. I'm completely, completely against, and I'm a Scorpio, so I'm nasty. I don't want let nobody spit in my mouth. That is a big no to me. Yeah, that's Disgusting. Gross. It's almost like witchcraft to me, too. Spit okay. in somebody's mouth. So much COVID thing. and all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be surprised how many of my clients love that. Yeah. We have these conversations. I should do a thing for this one. Yeah. We have this I will never let somebody spit in my mouth. Disgusting. Okay, I mean, oh, you guys I are getting nasty. Thought. That's nasty, girl. Nasty. Nasty. That. I never even would think about something no. like that. I actually have a client that's obsessed with it. And she loves cool. it. And I have a heat client that is obsessed with it. And they'll spit in Okay. Shoot, you what? need to have like a little camera here and just record all you. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute, I like her answer better than mine. Can I change it? <laughs> change your answer. Change your question. Your answer. For me, it's a hard no. Anything that would induce any type of excruciating pain. So like, you don't like to get beat. I want to no. be tied up like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have no movement at all. Take control, baby. Take control. Oh, the swing. I got one. Oh, 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 oh. I got one. I never opened it. You can have it. Ashley, your answer. Um, anal. Hard no? Yeah. Hard no? Yeah. You haven't spit on it. You <laughs> okay. No. Next question. I'm still going with her answer. <laughs> I told you. There's some things you just want not do. But yeah, you just got to... Yeah, you uh, could spit on that. Lord, Honey, they forced me into this. Mouth, <laughs> <laughs> We're doing three of these? Oh, I'm excited. Hit another one. <laughs> Do you prefer hair or no hair down there? Oh, down there. I was about to say my husband's bald, so I guess I don't care. <laughs> down there. Um, As long as it's manicured I'm okay yeah. with like, that I, I, yeah okay. I, I can deal with are that we, okay like, quick question are we talking about our men or are we talking about ourselves men right men okay 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 I mean as long as it's not like I have to like go get a flashlight to figure out what's going on like <laughs> I think I'm okay with that <laughs> but of course preferred method is you know crew, crew cut that okay <laughs> crew cut it I'll be real with you I rather hair be there than no hair because I don't want to be with a 15 year old 14 year old boy and that's what thinks to me and I bit like my son's father shaved one time and I knew off rip he was cheating I was like fuck that I don't like that <laughs> like who is that for that is not for what? me yeah and he definitely was cheating it was a sign of cheating to me Ooh, and I found out okay um for so me don't go hairless around <laughs> hell no <laughs> have something there something for me get a toupee I, I feel like um <laughs> Some hair needs to be there, but like you said, a little clean trim, cut. a clean cut, yeah. but I cannot have a no hair. Yeah, like you can to go to CVS down. and go that, get yourself a trimmer. You'll be yeah, fine. That hard. <laughs> too much. That, that would be too... Yeah, because I don't want to yeah, choke no. on a piece of hair and, <laughs> and pull yet. it out either, but uh, yeah. no. Clean cut, I mean, if in, or no hair. 
Really? Yeah. Go ahead, girl. Really? Exactly. I couldn't do it. Because I don't want to be pulling hair out or getting stuck in <laughs> It's the happened teeth. to me before, and I just slip it out and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Ooh, it is getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> is it the wine? Is it the red light? Can we is turn the on the fan? <laughs> what is the longest you've gone without sex? Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Okay, six weeks after I had my son, <laughs> for sure they said you I couldn't. Go. Six weeks, absolutely. absolutely. That's yeah. one of the so instructions. I'm gonna say that one that I give to all my patients. I damn sure didn't wait six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> my longest was a year and a half after I did my engagement. <laughs> I just wanted to rebalance myself, and I took it in. When you get spiritual, you like you don't want to take in certain energies. So a year and a half, but I was freaking dying. It's like <sighs> choking and everything. Yeah, it sucked. It sucked big time. Like, you can. Yeah. It was like dust. It's, it's at that boy. Because you can tell when someone needs it. When you yeah. need it yourself. Oh, I get angry. Tell. It's like a person that gets angry. Yeah. Scorpios. I get angry. Mm -hmm. Like, I like it two or three times a day. And if I don't have it at least in the morning or the night, the next day you might wake up like, what's up, babe? What's good, pop? Like, I will put you in a kid. I'll put you in a friend zone real quick. What's good? What's good? No. No. Mm -mm. Um, I've been married 29 years. Um, the longest I stay mad is a week. So I'm going to say a week. <laughs> So it depends of how long I'm mad. Like, the only time I've, you know, um, we've never been, like, apart. I will say probably six. No, I will probably say six weeks. I definitely did wait six weeks after each of my pregnancies. Um, with the exception of the first one. No, not with the first one. But with the other two, I was 15. See, so I damn sure won it when I'm mad. I don't care. We ain't got to look at yes. each other. We ain't got to talk to I each can. other. Yes. Give it to you real quick and go back to sleep. Definitely oh, a Scorpio thing. That is the best. <laughs> Fuck you, Scorpio. What are you? I'm a Leo. Leo, and you? Cancer. Cancer. Sagittarius. Oh, you're a sun sign. <laughs> I, for me, um, sex is more up here than down here. So I, mentally, like, I need. You have we, to be in we harmony. Need, we need to be okay. Which I yeah. feel that's a certain thing, but I don't lose love for my partner mm -hmm. in between that mad stage, so I can still get wet, and I want it, yeah. and that might ease the pain. I tell them all the time, are we get in an argument. Tell me to bend over real quick. I won't even be mad. I'll cook you dinner right afterwards. So, like, the whole argument is out the yeah, window like, at that point. I might even point. like you a little bit better. That part. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Uh, they kind of egg it on. Exactly. And it takes away from having See, the conversation. I, I feel like to a certain to be extent, had. because there still needs to be conversations. But if it's something that's petty and I'm just mad at you mm -hmm. because you didn't pick up the phone or you yeah, yeah, we were supposed yeah. to go on a date night or something, no, nah, you're going to run it. You're yeah. going to run it to me real quick. We'll talk about it tomorrow. it depends on the situation. Yeah. On the argument. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, six weeks. Six months. weeks? Yeah. For when I had the slave surgery and then when I had the tummy club. Nice. Yeah. And that was, that was... Damn, was I feel like a sex addict I'm, talking to y'all. It was, it was <laughs> It's painful. <laughs> I was going to the doctor. Can I, can I go ahead now? I'm healed up. Yeah, I'm not leaking anymore. I'm not leaking. I got my tubes out. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to have to go six weeks soon because my boyfriend just scheduled a vasectomy soon. And it says six to eight weeks. Wait a minute. He sure did. Yeah. He's so who told him he has to wait six weeks? That's a lie. On the paper. The okay, doctor so said. So let me tell you something. Please tell me because I would. <laughs> I didn't care about nothing else that said it. It said six to eight weeks. I'm like, what? My six to eight weeks. My, well, okay, so my husband's 45. He had a vasectomy at 26. And you need to have 20 ejaculations before you're in the clear. Oh, I guess it wasn't actual sex. It was more like oral sex. Yeah. So we were... His well, see, I can, his I can do that. The same day. When, when I read, read that, that, when it said you need at least nine to ten, mm -hmm. or like nuts, in other words, I'm sorry, bro, I was talking you off three times a day, four times a day. <laughs> that eats up to a week. We can do this. Like, we, mm -hmm. we yeah. can do this. And he just looked at me, but I guess it depends on the person, like how they yeah. heal. Oh, and yes. You're like, like, eight weeks, you're like a virgin again. Girl, I almost had the big one. I was like, maybe I'll go get like a, a birth control like for ten, 10 years or something and, and I, make it I work. I will tell you, when I had my tummy tuck and I was going so they could get it checked out, they said that our skin tone, so any Hispanic, any blacks, 
heal a lot quicker. Yeah. Mm. Well, did he yeah. white, girl? Did he call me here with my asthma? Damn, you ain't making it better. <laughs> I feel like that one too. Like she, was, she was white. She was white, and she goes, she goes. Believe it or not, she goes. You guys is um, is yeah. that melanin? She goes. The melanin he heals a lot faster than what I would. And well, that's damn near the person. Because like, she's white. <laughs> <laughs> that part. I'm healing in 24 hours. Don't play with me. Do not play with my soul. I was very depressed. I'm not going to lie. And I found the paperwork on top of his bed. He was taking a shower, so I'm just going through it real quick. And that's all I saw. Six to eight weeks, nine nuts. I can do the nine nuts. Six to eight weeks? No, no, I can't. I was on I Amazon you, I don't think you need looking to for toys real quick because I got a couple, but I need no, more than that. I don't think, I don't think you need to wait. This. I mean... Follow doctor's instructions. <laughs> you are a doctor. No, I'm In a other nurse. words, I'm a nurse, but from my personal experience, we did not She's wait like, I'm six not weeks. giving you medical See, advice. Like, and I learned that from day. We my mentor sex. got one. He told me within three days he was yes, on and popping. Yes. So I'm like, and I told I told I my man that. I'm like, three I, days, man, that's I all you got. It depends on the individual, too, and their pain tolerance and all that. Well, hopefully he can go through a lot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he is... I thought he was Hispanic. That should, that, that should mean something. He, he definitely, he definitely, definitely, definitely don't look you. white. He, look, he don't look white. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, at all. He very yeah. looks, but he's Italian, so maybe that's a little different. Yeah, maybe a little yeah. sauce and sauce. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a week. I can do a week because, like, periods. You know, some people don't like it. Some people, I can do a week. Three days. Right. Three days. Well, with, with Nikisha's high sexual <laughs> sex drive, we're going to close our episode today. If you can just look in your camera and let everybody know where they can find you, where they can this reach you. No, I know this one. Oh, is this one? Right this one. Oh, it changed. Your name, your business, how they can find you, your, you know, your tags all and our all good that. stuff. Um, I'm Betty with SJC Technology. We are located in Fort Myers across the street from Edison Mall. Um, and you can contact our office at 239-324-9039 or visit our website at www.sjctech.com. If you have any technical issues or you just want us to come out and do an evaluation for your business, we'll be happy to do so. Or if you want to get on the dark web. And she's Cuban, so that means you're bilingual? I am, There yes. we go. <laughs> I am, I am. Well, I'm coming to look for a job. <laughs> I want to go on the dark web. I have a feeling we won't get much done. <laughs> At all. This will be conversation after conversation. <laughs> Guys, also remember that in order to support us, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and share. We are currently looking for sponsors. And if you watched our, not last episode, but the episode before that, Bob. Lindsay. Lindsay oh, yeah. from John Michael's Jewelry. He offered a $100 gift certificate to anybody that sponsors us. And Ooh. Bound by Beauty will give you a $50 gift certificate for any lashes if you sponsor with us too. So those are some very good incentives. You also get... Uh, you're also going to get <laughs> any discount. No. Um, up to 20 shirts um, for your companies on us. Wow. Thanks from EX3. Yep. From EX3. Awesome. Very nice. Actually, we are rebranding. Ooh. Ooh. So that'll be out soon. So states... Oh, okay. So, ha. Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive news. Uh, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. The merchandise clothing line is now going to be Underground Odyssey. Oh, I okay. like that. Underground Odyssey. So right. you will be seeing the logos, the everything coming out pretty soon for that. Oh, so, cool. and if you definitely want to be on Parlor Talk, we are in very high demand. Yes. Our list is going on for almost a month now and a little bit uh, past we that. Past the month. Yeah, yeah a little till September. And I'm trying to get a VIP seat here with the drinks. <laughs> <and> I'm <laughs> telling you, we get wine I and all that. I didn't know what I was walking into today. But it's, yeah, <laughs> so if you definitely want to be a part of Parlor Talk, <laughs> this is a great way to get your business out there to promote, network, get to know different people in the area because not only you're clientele and the people that you talk to are going to see this, but people that we all mingle with and talk exactly. to. So make sure you inbox myself or D or to Enya Phoenix. Is it under, uh, under Ashley Enya. or is it? Uh, no, it's, it's under Enya. Okay. And yeah. So hit up any of us, even Icy, and we'll get you on the show. And yeah, let's get this shit popping. Yes. Parlor, Parlor Talk was created for 
networking of not just women, but just our community here in Southwest Florida. Um, when we first started this, it was, you know, women empowerment. And because I was told that there's no women supporting women in Southwest Florida. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna change that. And I'm gonna prove that wrong. So I would, I definitely proven that wrong. Because the yeah. three of us are completely different, different ages, different industries. Um, and we can work together beautifully. And we bring here women business owners and men business owners because let's face it we are a community it's not just women and we it's need a, to empower it's each a very other. different platform and a lot of right. people that came on here has Let, definitely expanded we're nothing without our men yes and they're nothing without us yes period <laughs> so, absolutely period absolutely with that being with said, that being said catch us next week it's gonna be oh, another God. amazing episode <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm Kim Dominguez. I think we should come up with like a dance. <laughs> <laughs>